two on oh back check drill yeah i got one here you go <laughs> give me a regroup what's your best regroup girl and and um and i always I, you know, okay i always judge coaches by that i shouldn't judge but i always kind of do when when you ask a coach for a drill or what's your favorite drill if they're really resistant to share that with you it's like look having a great drill is not going to get you to the promised land whether winning be your goal or whatever your goal is as a coach um it's not going to get you the promised land and we're here to to help each other and develop our players and and, and especially at this level so so um working with these young guys that would would some have no experience you know it's it's invigorating um not because i I can just share them what I know, but I also direct them and 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 to gather information. Like not all of it works, you know. I'll tell you when I first I started coaching girls about three years ago, and I started a girls program down here, and I had to, I probably did more research and reading about coaching female players than I ever did as a coach just coaching hockey. And it wasn't like I wanted to teach the game differently or or share differently, but it was just how to communicate with the female player and one thing that i learned from it well two two major things is that females at that age are very linear i don't mean to sound sexist or anything it's just studies have proven psychological studies mm -hmm. they're very linear so when you draw something up you know you draw, you draw okay i want you to go and oh look i got a board right behind me like we're gonna get fancy you go into this area you go right here well the the female player will do exactly that arc and get right to there when really you're just trying to get them to go in the general concept of it and the other one was to never single them out so if a girl had a great game and, and I, you know, if I, one of the most detrimental things you can do with the female players to say, you know, Sally had an unbelievable game. Let's hear it for Sally, you know, and stuff because they don't want to be singled out either good or bad. And those are, those aren't sports studies. Those are just psychological studies. And so when I, I had to change my delivery and, and the way I explain it, cause I saw we were very fortunate in here in Seattle, we've got a couple U S Olympian, um, uh, female players, Brooke Whitney's being one of them, and uh, um, there's 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 two. Oh, uh, Kelly Stevens, and Kelly Stevens spent a lot of time talking with my team, my girls group, and it's just the the message, the way she delivered it. I'm like, these girls are hanging on every word. Yes, it's probably because she won some Olympics, but it wasn't just that. And so, again, if I wasn't able to adapt, I probably wouldn't have succeeded with that group, and 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 had them achieve some of their some of their dreams, you know, some of their goals and go to college and those kind of things. And, and that's kind of why I love the level I'm at now.